Hello and welcome to another video on this channel. We have just entered the month of February 2023, which is the beginning of the second half of interview scheduling in the DV 2023 program. Now, what do I mean when I say we have just entered the second half of interview scheduling? And what are some of the things we can look forward to as we step into the second half? These are questions being discussed in this video. Welcome once again as we go into the discussion. So, what do I mean when I say that this is the beginning of the second half of interview scheduling in the DV 2023 program? Interviews for the DV 2023 program started in the month of October 2022, which was the beginning of the DV 2023 program. But don't forget that those interviews conducted in the month of October, which were the first interviews for the DV 2023 program, were actually scheduled during the month of August 2022, making the month of August 2022 the first month of interview scheduling in the DV 2023 program. So if you should count from August to the end of January 2023, that makes six months, which was the first half of scheduling of interviews in the DV 2023 program. So stepping into the month of February 2023, we are actually beginning the second half of interview scheduling in the DV 2023 program. And this second half of interview scheduling is expected to continue up to the end of July 2023, which is the official end of interview scheduling for the DV 2023 program. I'm saying official end because in recent years, interview scheduling has gone beyond that official end. It has gone into the month of August and even the month of September. But for this year, we do not know whether that trend is going to continue. So we maintain that the end of July 2023 is the end of interview scheduling in the DV 2023 program. Now, in case at the end of the month of July 2023, it is projected that there will still be visas available to be issued out to applicants, then we will see interview scheduling continue into the month of August and possibly September 2023. But those are not official months of interview scheduling for the DV 2023 program. That is why I said we have just entered the second half of interview scheduling in the DV 2023 program. So as we enter the second half of interview scheduling in the DV 2023 program, what can we expect? I always try to tell the difference between the first half and the second half of the diversity visa program year. And that difference can be seen in the visa bulletin. During the first half of the diversity visa program year, we expect to see a gradual increase in the cutoff numbers of the various regions. And then when you get to the second half, that is when the regions begin to go current. A region becoming current in the visa bulletin, instead of seeing a cutoff number established for that region for the month concerned, what you will see is the word current spelled out. You know, usually we have cutoff numbers in the visa bulletin for the different regions for different months. And the rule is that all case numbers that fall below that cutoff number established for that month for that region are the ones that are current, meaning that once they have submitted their DS-260 and their DS-260 has been processed, they are eligible for interview. But instead of having a cutoff number established, we will see the word current, and it means that there is no cutoff number for the region concerned for that month. Instead, all case numbers from that region automatically become current. And so once they have submitted their DS-260 and 
their DS-260 has been processed, then they are eligible for a diversity visa interview. In other words, any case number from such a region could be scheduled for interview. The visa office makes the regions go current during the second half of the diversity visa program year in order to maintain the balance that we spoke about in previous videos between demand for visas and supply of visas. Usually during the first half of the fiscal year, you have demand for visas to be far higher than supply of visas. And that is obvious because at the beginning of the program year, everyone is in a rush to submit their DS-260. But then when it comes to the second half of the program year, it is the other way around. Under normal circumstances, at that time, supply of visas is higher than demand. And so the visa office removes the cutoff numbers, makes the regions current in order to encourage demand for visas to maintain the balance between supply and demand for visas. So first half of interview scheduling in the diversity visa program, gradual increase in the cutoff numbers. And then second half of interview scheduling, we begin to see the regions go current, even if it is not all of them. So in the upcoming visa bulletin or the one that follows it, we can expect to see the regions begin to go current. That is one thing we can expect in the second half of interview scheduling in the DV 2023 program. And such a situation works in favor of certain applicants with high case numbers. That is why when I'm asked by applicants with high case numbers, whether they have the chance of being scheduled for interview, the answer I usually give is yes, you have the chance of being scheduled for interview. In case you have a high case number, but you are assigned to an embassy that do not have many cases to interview and that embassy is performing well, then such a situation could play in your favor. I usually say to those with high case numbers that it is not over until it is over. Meaning, as long as the program year does not come to an end, you still have the chance of being scheduled for interview, especially if you are assigned to certain embassies. So it is not in all cases that the chances of high case numbers are ruled out. Depending on the embassy where they are assigned, their region going current could play in their favor. So as we enter the second half of interview scheduling in the DV 2023 program, in case you have a high case number, do not only consider your case number, but also consider the prevailing situation at your embassy because that could be the determining factor when it comes to whether you are scheduled for interview or not. This is not the time to give up. Instead, always remember that saying, it is not over until it is over. So that is what I had to share with you. Six months have gone since the scheduling of interviews started in the DV 2023 program. And these are the kinds of things we can look forward to as we enter the second half of interview scheduling in the DV 2023 program. Now, don't forget, your duty remains to look out for your interview notification once your case number is current or your region becomes current and your DS-260 has been submitted and processed. Which brings us to the end of today's discussion. Thanks for watching this video. Now keep your fingers crossed as we move on into this second half of interview scheduling in the DV 2023 program, and I will see you, God willing, in the next video. Until then, goodbye.